Oh my, this is the scariest, freakiest, oh gosh, he can reach back far. Hi, I'm Lily. And I'm Ryder. And you're watching The Crawdad Hunter. What we have right here is this bottle. See, just an ordinary big bottle. But what we're gonna do is gonna make a crawdad trap. We're gonna test this method out. Um, so what you do is you cut along this, and what you do is flip it up, flip it upside down and stick it in. So, and you leave the cap off. So when they try to get out, they can't. So the first thing that we're gonna need to do is take off the lid. Right now, I'm gonna pull this handle off and there's some tape on it, so you have to pull the tape off. And I've never done this before. On a water bottle. Some water spray. So we're gonna take off this label because it might come off in the pond, so we don't want to litter in the pond. What I like to do, here we go. There it is. Okay, this is what we're gonna do next. We're gonna go three lines down. Okay, so now what you're gonna do is start cutting along the line. Here's our idea. So when you stick this in, it's just totally clicked in place because of these, these lines. So the crowd is gonna be crawling in and he's gonna wonder what's in there and what's in the bottom of it. So he crawls in and he can't get out because it's too small. But he can get in, but he can't get out. Crawdads can't swim up. Like, see, they can get up here and they can crawl up there, but if there's nothing right there to help them, no. And if you're wondering what type of bait that's really good for this, is you get some, um, so what you do is you put some ham. Ham is actually, crawdads really like ham. So you put some ham down in here, put some ham right here, and then you set the trap. We just got our bait. And we also have our trap. And we're gonna head down to the creek. Let's go. some French hot dog. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick some pieces off. See, just go like that. And then what I'm gonna do is stuff some down in there. See that? I'm gonna rub it and then I'm gonna rub it in the tube and have one right there. I'm put the rest of this right here. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put this in. And my sister's gonna keep the rest of the bait. I'm gonna go ahead and sink this right down in the middle. Okay, I'm gonna kind of like push it over. We just got the crawdad trap set. We're gonna come back in a few hours if it caught any crawdads. We're gonna head back and go to my brother's soccer game. Maybe after the soccer game, we're gonna go check on them. I don't know. Ooh, that felt good to be down in the So we had lots of delays. So we went back and we saw the traps taken out. And we go ask these kids, because they were coming out of our secret pond area. We ask them, 
um, did you take this crawdad trap out? And they said, yeah. They said that there was eight crawdads in about like four hours. So we set it again for about 20 minutes and we came back, we caught two, and then, so we're gonna wake up first thing in the morning and go over and check that trap. My guess is nine. Hopefully we'll catch 150! And I did flop on my face. I have? Oh, the... All right. I was worried about my hat, not me. Not too great. Head back over and check our trap. My my guess is not. I think we're going to find. I think we're going to find um, five baby ones and two big ones. <laughs> Okay, got the trap. Okay, bring it out. Okay, I'm gonna come up from here probably. Whoa, the top is actually coming off. Oh. Hey, get it up here. Hurry, get it up here, we wanna see them. I'm just gonna take off this top. This thing has loads of products. Oh, oh my. <laughs> we use the bottle trap, it works really well. So, so you would put it right here and then the, you would click it in one time and then the crawdads would come swimming in to get the bait and then they would get trapped. And they can't get up because they can't swim up. It wasn't like this, it was on its side. So it's hard for me to show you it because I don't want all the water dumping out. So let's count how many crawdads, okay. We might have caught the whole pond. One. One crawdad. Two crawdad. What if about the big ones? <gasps> Daddy. Three crawdad. <gasps> it's moving back from a predator. So Four looks crawdads. Like the crawdads are moving back from the predator right now. That's what we've learned. Probably massive. Oh, that's a big daddy. <gasps> that's a big daddy! Uh, this is the biggest crowd that I've ever seen. Wow, that thing is massive. So I know when the Wow, predators, what other big claw? When the predators are here, yep. the most likely way Five. to get away from the predators is they move backwards. And they mostly... Are Whoa, active in the I grabbed him by the claw. Not active in the morning time. And so we just catch a lot here. And I'm thinking that they might crawl away. Nine. Okay, it's past my record. Okay, ten. Just like I 11. thought. Eleven. See, he's moving backwards. Leave that one in there. Yeah, you don't want to lose that one in the dirt. 
Oh yeah. Eleven. It's crawling. Yeah, Twelve. I think I can it. Thirteen. Thirteen. Oh my god. Oh. You're holding that. Okay. Sorry, I don't wanna hurt you. Okay, I think that's all the crawdads. We're gonna so. go ahead and release all of these. But not really. Okay, one, fun. two, three, go live! Live for your life. Whoa. That has to be the raddest thing ever. Wow. Looks like this trap works. So we built this crawdad trap and it works really well. I recommend it because just um, get a, just a gallon of water, then you cut the top then you stick it in one click and it's all ready. You put some bait, hot dogs are the best. And then they'll come in and then they'll drop and then look, they can't swim up so they're like, pff, pff, they're trying to get right here. So it's just a really good trap. If you want, if you have um, crawdads and you want to catch some, um, this is a good trap to do. So yeah. We got tons of crawdads and I think that there was uh, I think that we catch most of them in the creek, like, like a lot, but not all of them. I'm Riley the Crawdad Hunter. Now go outside and explore the wilderness. I think we almost caught all the um, big guys in the creek. There's a hundred more babies in that creek. I'm a hundred. Okay, drop blue. Ooh. Get back on your shoe. Yeah. Hop, baby, hop. I go. Now that's a really good spot for bullfrogs right there. Okay, I'm trying to get up. 